Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with actress Kira Sedgwick. What? <laughs> You're not Kira Sedgwick? <laughs> Do that again. I was like... <laughs> Wait, nobody's ever told you that? <laughs> nobody's ever told you you look like her? No, never. Okay. Who did they tell you they look like? Kevin Kira? Bacon. Kevin Bacon, okay. <laughs> you know, I had a friend in college, he looked like uh, Kevin Costner. Okay. And what he would do is he would go to bars and he would he would pick up women. He would tell them that he was Kevin Costner. I hope you found a different wingman, Ed, because that is not a good story. It does not endear you to me. Okay, so I guess I should tell you why you're here. You see, the people viewing the video, they've, they've seen the title, so they know why you're here. But you don't know why you're here. No, okay. I'm a surprise guest, surprise to myself as well. Okay. Well, I thought what I would do is I would bring a couple of telescopes up on the desk here and we could talk about it. You can ask some questions. Okay. And I'm also interested to hear your impressions as to how much this stuff costs. All right. <laughs> because it's one of the first things we ask, we get asked is how much does this stuff cost? So okay. um, I think some of this may have rubbed off on you from just hanging out around me, but um, Maybe. We'll, see, um, we'll see how this goes. And we'll see if the price is right. Okay, very good. Okay, so this first one here is called an Orion Star Blast. And this is a common telescope that we recommend to beginners. And it's sort of, it's easy to use. It goes up and down and it goes left and right. So the main function of a telescope is to gather light. So I'll show the viewers, there's a mirror in the back. It's about four and a half inches and I'll show you that's a mirror in the back. Okay. okay. So when we look up at the night sky, our eyes only open up to, you know, about seven millimeters, six millimeters or so. All right. So we can't gather a lot of light. So the main purpose of a telescope is to gather more light so that we can see things that are dim. Okay. And so this is where you look in here, like this. And this is how you focus, using that knob like this. Okay. So again, it's a common thing we recommend for beginners. Have any idea what you think something like this might be worth? Well, you said it's beginners. Okay. So I'm going to equate it to the cost of a second-hand Hyundai. Okay. So I'm going <laughs> to say 7500 7500 Okay. Well, um, if you wanted to get one of these right now, the price has actually gone up lately just because of certain factors that are going on. but. Right now, it's about um, $225. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one here is, this has been tricked out a little bit by our club. You see these little ropes here and things. These are cap keepers that our club puts on. We donate these to libraries all across the state. All right. So there's 150 of these in libraries across New Hampshire. And there's a little card on it. And you check it out just like a book for two weeks. So you said $250? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's like cheaper than a night at a five-star restaurant uh, I haven't been to many five-star restaurants <laughs> lately but <laughs> well I obviously haven't been to many yeah. telescope conventions <laughs> so. all right then that's a bargain at any price right okay. okay so the second telescope is called an Orion short tube 80 and it's called 80 because the lens here gathers 80 millimeters worth of light it's about three inches all right so this one gathers three inches worth of light the one you saw earlier gathers about four and a half inches worth of light. And there's a little diagonal here. This thing is stuck. You put the eyepiece in here, and you look through here, and you just find focus this way. Okay. So to find what you're looking at at the sky, you look through this finder here. It points a red dot at infinity. All right. Um, the problem with this one is that it's just a tube. You're going to need some sort of a mount to put it on. So one common mistake people make is they buy this, and then they try to put it on their little photo tripod, and then their kid runs into it, and the whole thing falls over. Oh, boy. This happens more often than you might think. Ah. So, so this is a different kind of telescope. The first one we saw, you actually look into the side of the front, if you recall. Yes. This one, you look into the back. Wow. You're seeing this right now. Is any idea how much that might be worth? Well, given how grossly off I was <laughs> with the first one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to price it way down. But they always say smaller is more expensive. Okay. So I'm going to price it way down, but okay. I still am going to make a guess of $1,735. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> Plus it, tax. Okay. 
Well, it depends how you buy it. Sometimes they'll package it with a mount or they'll give you different eyepieces or different finders and this sort of thing. But, you know, this you can usually buy for under $200. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so. See, all these years I stayed away. Yes from astronomy, thinking it was really not affordable, and now I know how <laughs> off I was. Okay, so here's a third kind of telescope. This is called a Celestron C6, and it's similar to the one you just saw in that it's just an optical tube. So you are going to need, you know, a fairly substantial amount okay. to put under this. I don't know if you want to pick this up. It's about seven or eight pounds. There's quite a bit of glass in here, so. Okay. So there, this one works differently from the other two because there's a six inch mirror, I'll show the audience, in the back. Okay, so show you the mirror. Six, All right. This one gathers six inches worth of light. But this one, it bounces the light back to the secondary mirror, which bounces the mirror all, the light all the way back to the eyepiece here, and this is where you look. Okay. So one question we always get, we always get, why does it do that? Why do you want to bounce the light back and forth? It just seems like there's a lot of stuff to go wrong, right? Yeah. Well, the problem is, if you don't do that, this tube, if you think about the amount of distance the light has to travel, would be about this long. Okay. So it would just be really hard to mount. So they bounce the light back and forth inside the tube. They call this a compound telescope to make it more compact. All right. So, uh, and again, a very common mistake we see people make is they put this on a flimsy photo tripod, and it, even if it doesn't fall over, when you try to focus on something with this knob here, it's going to jiggle and shake so much that you can't see anything. Okay. Okay. So I've shown you the three basic types of telescopes. Right. The first one where you look into the side, the refractor with the lens in the front, right. and this compound telescope that balances the light back and forth. Okay. Okay. So um, what do you think? Any idea how much right. this might cost? I'm, I'm really rethinking here. Okay. This looks like something you'd have to... James Bond would have to steal from some evil villain. Okay. And that it might be I a, had never a, thought of it nuclear, that way before. A nuclear code sort of a thing. A nuclear code sort of thing. So, okay. but you said it needs a lot of accessories. Okay. And now I'm kind of trying to read your mind. I'm thinking I got to go way down in price. It's, okay. So I'm going to price it almost as if it was a really expensive makeup mirror. Makeup mirror, okay. Yeah, so, Are those expensive? Um, well, this is a very expensive one, but where you know you put your makeup on, so you need a lot of light, you need a lot of magnification. Well, so wait a minute, how much does a makeup mirror cost? Well, I'm gonna say it costs exactly the same amount as this, and okay. I'm gonna say um, this is worth three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Okay. Okay. Well, you're a little low this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, prices have gone up a little bit lately, but it depends how you buy it. And, you know, there's, there's sort of different configurations. Um, you know, six to seven hundred dollars for the optical tube okay. is about what this thing is, is, sells for. All right. Well, okay. you can get a makeup mirror at Rite Aid for about thirty bucks. So <clears throat> wait. So these makeup are they battery powered or? No. Well, well, I don't know what creates all that extra light. You know, so you can see when you put your eyeliner on, it's super, super bright, okay. brightly lit. So there's, so there's a light, there's a battery operator. Somehow light, there's a light in. attached to it. <clears throat> and and I'm a guest on your show because I have no technical ability. Okay. <laughs> so I'm the low bar. So I so, don't even know how a makeup mirror works. Well, I mean, a $300 makeup mirror sounds like that's pretty expensive. Uh, well, yeah, it'd be, yeah, believe me, it's not in my bathroom. Okay. You don't have one of those? No. Okay. I have daylight. <laughs> you have daylight, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So what'd you say? Six? Uh, six to $700 six for seven. the optical tube. But you need. Accessories. Right, right. Right. And we all know our accessories are what make the telescope. That's right. So. Sort of like, you know, shoes or right. jewelry yeah, and watches right. and things. Exactly. <laughs> so. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Well, this one's my favorite. All right. Good. <laughs> okay. So this one is sort of like that first one I showed you, that star blast, where you look into the side. But this one is a six inch. It actually, there's actually okay. a six inch mirror here, but it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? I mean, it's kind of strange, but the reason it, it's like this is because this is a collapsible design. So what you do is this comes up like this, and you to tighten it, tighten the knob here, and you can go up and down and left and right like this. All right. So show the audience. There's a six-inch mirror in the back. And yeah. If there is a six-inch mirror here. Okay. You can see it deflects the light into this secondary mirror here. Deflects the light into the eyepiece, and this is where you look. All right. So you would look up here, and again, uh, we always have to tell people, be careful which kind of telescope you're looking at, because I have every, every time I do this for kids, I find some kid walking up to this kind of telescope, and he looks into the back. Right. So I'll show you what's back there. It's, it's nothing, right? No. So there's, there's... Well, you see your own reflection, right, and that a, can be a yeah, shock. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. So the reason they do this collapsible truss-type design is to save space. 
Makes sense. So, um, okay, so any idea what, what you think this might cost? Well, <laughs> I've been really close so far you in my other been. guesses. Yeah. <laughs> to me, this reminds me of a high-end coffee maker, like a French press. Okay. So if I was going to buy an overpriced French press coffee maker, if I was a caterer, I would pay... Eight hundred and thirteen dollars. Eight hundred and thirteen dollars. Okay, yeah. well. And I'd expect a good cup of coffee with that. Okay, well, I don't think you're going to get a good cup of coffee out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this one lists for uh, around two hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, you can get this. <laughs> I just had a feeling. I had a feeling. Oh well. Okay. Okay, so this one we have behind us here. I'll put a picture of it in the front. This is an Orion XT8, and it's an eight-inch mirror but it's sort of bigger than the ones that you've seen so far. And of all of the telescopes that are out on the market, this is the one that I recommend the most for a beginner to get started off in astronomy. So the same thing, it goes up and down and left and right like this. And it's in two pieces, it's in a tube and a base and you just put the two parts in your car, you drive it off to a dark site and you set it up and you can be up and observing in, you know, less than five minutes. Hmm. So. Any idea how much that might cost? Well, it looks like one of those t-shirt shooters when you go to like stadium football game. Okay. So it could double that, doubling the value, I'm sure of it. Also, we all know size matters. So this one is way bigger than the others. So right. I'm going to guess, since I've been so good at this before, I'm going to guess $999. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, it depends which version you get. There's, you can get a computer on it. You can get all sorts of accessories on it. But the base model sells right now for about five to six hundred dollars. But if you got the computer on it, you could easily get that up to a thousand dollars. All more. right. Yeah. So I'm getting better. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what we have here is something called an astrophysics stowaway. So you've seen a lot of these reflectors lately. The sort of the mirror in the back, and you look into the side of the front. This is the refractor. There's a lens in the front that gathers. See, it says 92 on it. It's yep. at 92 millimeters. It's, you know, three and a half inches or so. And it sends light, light to the back of this diagonal here. We don't have an eyepiece in the holder, but that's where you look. So, I don't know if you want to touch it and you can rack the focuser in and out or you want to pick it up or... Well, it looks pretty lethal, actually. It looks pretty lethal, okay. Yeah, aerodynamic. Okay. You wouldn't want to point this at someone without them knowing that okay. it is a telescope because it could be alarming. Okay. It has astrophysics right here, which is very impressive. Okay. If you're trying to impress somebody, <laughs> your date or whatever. Okay. So I think they would have done better with the design being all black to make it even more interesting, uh, lethal looking okay. or impressive. But I'm going to guess. $1,259.59. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this is actually a limited edition, edition model. Oh, no. <laughs> and so astrophys zero. <laughs> astrophysics is probably the most desired telescope on the market today. Okay. Okay, you can't just call them up or go on the website and add to cart. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So these are built to spec on order, and there is a waiting list and a notification oh, list. You held all that back. So... <laughs> Uh, I sat on a waiting list for 19 years to get this telescope. All right, I'm <laughs> adding two zeros <laughs> to my guess. So I, I got on the list for somewhere in 1999, 2000, and I actually forgot I was on the list. And right around 2019, they called me back and they said, well, we need half the money now if you want your telescope in you know, three or four months. Okay. So um, I don't know what, exactly what they're selling for now, but I think I paid somewhere around $4,000 for this. 4000 okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, well, that's sort of like my used Hyundai okay. analogy. Yes. <laughs> uh, but this is more impressive. Yeah. All right. Okay, so finally here we have two. Look pretty similar. They do to so, me. Yeah, okay. That's, I think that's intentional. But this one is called a Mead ETX. Okay. And this one is called a Questar. So I don't know if you want to just play with the controls or pick it up and see what you think. All this these, is all the these, ETX? Yeah, all those knobs and things turn. Okay. And this is the... It, it's called the Questar. Questar. Yeah, so if you look on the front here, it says Questar. Oh, yeah, Questar. Okay. So the way these work, it's similar to that 
folding design that I discussed earlier, but there's a lens in the front. It bounces. I mean, there's a uh, yeah, there's a mirror in the back. Okay. There's a secondary mirror, and it bounces the light up here. And this is a little sliding dew shield. So I don't know if you want to just play around with that and see what you think. Or wow, I don't want to play with around with them too much, depending on how much they cost. So. Well, I don't think you, you're not really going to hurt anything. It's it's actually pretty hard to damage a telescope. If you think about it, it's just a bunch of metal and glass, and um, you know it's. it's they're, they're pretty robust. So. Okay, all right. So this is the focuser here, and this is the focuser on this one, and you, these little controls do various things here. Yeah, so all right. Do you have any idea what, what either one of these might cost? Well, clearly I'm so good at this. Well, first of all, <laughs> first of all, do you have a preference for one of the? Do you, do you like one better than the other? Or? It could be the lighting, but I much like the more midnight blue okay. than the lighter purple. Okay. So, you know, when I buy a car, the first question is what color can I get it in. Okay. So that's about my level of okay. you know, technology. So I prefer that one a little bit more, the Quest Star. Okay. Um, also, too many initials gets on my nerves. Too many initials, okay. Um, Marketing people, you need to pay attention to this stuff. Uh, and then there's three knobbies here and only one here. So this is more impressive, at least in okay. the back here. So of course that, that matters. Well, no, because you're a professional. You wouldn't look at those superficial <laughs> things. They also remind me a little bit of those um, things you use to blow up air mattresses or kiddie pools, you know, so you don't have to just blow them up. You can just um, air pump things. Yeah, so, okay. So, so, um, Wait, so where would the air come out of? Like here? Well, I don't want to get technical on okay, you Okay, well, <laughs> but, we could do <laughs> But if you can't figure that out. But anyway, that's what those little pumps that you buy to, so you don't have to blow up air mattresses hmm, okay. yourself. So, um I don't know if that's a plus or minus. All this to say, Quest Star, for example, is a very impressive name. So okay. I'm going to high end this. Okay. And I'm going to say at least $2,222. Okay. That's my best guess. All right. <laughs> so would you think the ETX would be worth more or less than that? Less. Less, okay. Yeah, because they couldn't even take the time to tell us what ETX stands for. So I think it's uh, the creator said it was uh, something like every person's telescope. Oh well, then so that's it's much ET less because then... if it's to the masses, ah, then okay. no, then oh, okay. this is this is probably fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah, this one's fifty. Wow. Bucks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you've got the the ratios about right. <laughs> <laughs> so. The Quest R came first, so this is one of the most ah. desired telescopes on the market today. Okay. And the problem with this device is it was has traditionally been so expensive that only a few people can afford them. Right. So it depends, again, how you buy it. It may come with a drive base underneath it. It may come with different accessories or okay. different kind of coatings on the mirrors or eyepieces or whatever. Um, but you know, typically the way that you would buy a Quest R today, anywhere between thirty-five hundred and seven thousand dollars. Okay. So in the late 1990s, Mead, which is a mass market supplier, decided, well, that, they shouldn't have all the fun, right? So they should come out with um, you know, a commercial version of the exactly. Questar. Yeah, so they came out with this thing called the ETX. And if you notice, they copied the color, they copied the design. Right. Uh, one thing you didn't point out is that this thing is all made of metal. Yeah. And there's a lot of plastic here. Yeah, so you can a, see the difference. Yeah, it's a little bit less expensive of build. Right. But again, this one, it depends on how you buy it as well. But the form that you would no, most probably uh, commonly see that in, it's around four or $500. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So big price differential. Yes. But this allows the masses access to the stars. Right. So I'm all for that. All right, I still want that one, though. Yeah. Okay, so Joni, thanks for coming on the show with me today. And um, we're done here, but uh, we're going to stick around. We're going to hang out a little bit, right? It sounds like fun, and okay. I learned a lot, so right. thank you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.